We use an apparatus that allows a copper plate to swing back and forth through a magnetic field like a pendulum. The plane in which the copper plate swings is parallel to the plane of the plate and normal to the direction of the magnetic field. As the copper plate enters the field, the changing magnetic flux induces an EMF in the plate, which in turn causes the free electrons in the plate to move, producing circulating eddy currents. Note that the magnetic field is directed from the north pole to the south pole of the magnet that provides the field. When viewed from the north pole side of the magnet, the induced eddy current is counterclockwise as the plate enters the field. As the plate enters the magnetic field, the external magnetic flux through the plate increases. Hence, by Lenz's law, the induced current must provide effective magnetic poles on the plate that are repelled by the poles of the magnet. Thus, here a north pole is induced over the surface of the plate facing the north pole of the magnet. As the plate leaves the magnetic field, the external magnetic flux through the plate decreases. Hence, again as per Lenz's law, the induced current must provide a magnetic south pole on the surface of the plate facing the north pole of the magnet. This is quite opposite to the case when the plate enters the magnetic field. The induced eddy current always produces a retarding force Fb when the plate enters or leaves the field. This retarding force slows down the swinging of the plate and eventually brings it to rest. Thus, the oscillations of the plate are damped. When rectangular slots are cut in the plate, eddy currents and the corresponding retarding force are greatly reduced. This reduction in the retarding force is because the rectangular cuts in the plate prevent the formation of large current loops. Hence, the pendulum plate with holes or slots reduces electromagnetic damping and the plate swings more freely. Let us now explore the uses of eddy currents. Eddy currents are produced when a metal plate is subjected to a changing magnetic field, heats it. Hence, these currents are unwanted in certain situations. Reduction in the surface area of the plate helps in reducing eddy currents in the metallic cores of transformers, electric motors and other such devices. In which, a coil is wound over a metallic core. Eddy currents are minimized by using laminations of metal to make a metal core instead of using a single metal piece. The laminations are separated by an insulating material like lacquer. The plane of the laminations is arranged parallel to the magnetic field such that it cuts across the eddy current paths. This arrangement reduces the strength of the eddy currents. Since the dissipation of electric energy into heat depends on the square of the strength of the electric current, heat loss is substantially reduced. Let us now study the applications of eddy currents. Strong electromagnets are situated above the rails in some electrically powered trains. When the electromagnets are activated, the eddy currents induced in the rails oppose the motion of the train. As there are no mechanical linkages, the braking effect of the train is smooth. Certain galvanometers have a fixed core made of a non-magnetic metallic material. When the coil oscillates, the eddy currents generated in the core oppose the motion and bring the coil to rest quickly. Induction furnace can be used to produce high temperatures and can be utilized to prepare alloys by melting the constituent metals. A high frequency alternating current is passed through a coil which surrounds the metals to be melted. The eddy currents generated in the metals 
produce high temperatures sufficient to melt it. The shiny metal disc in the analog type electric power meter rotates due to eddy currents. Electric currents are induced in the disc by magnetic fields produced by the sinusoidal varying currents in the coil. 